what we found with advocacy groups in particular, as well as, as campaigns, is that uh, being able to push a universe from a political campaign or an advocacy group into our data management platform and then target audiences with it, both on our sites and off our sites, is in huge demand this year. Um, we've been working with data for quite a few years. We put up a DMP five years ago. We were an alert adopter of Lodomy. Um, we'll take a voter model from an advocacy campaign, break it into 150, 200 pieces, put it back together again in the DMP, and then mix and match that voter model with some combination of first, second, or third party data to create uh, very precise models with very specific purpose and intent around activating either interest or uh, turnout. So it's uh, how granular can you get and what are, and, and I assume the pricing is pretty good. Mm -hmm, for sure. So we can be as granular as the voter model allows. For example, we'll take a voter model that will contain um, geolocation, uh, party registration, turnout propensity, um, demographics. We'll break all those into finite pieces, put them into the DMP, and then reassemble them on demand. So for example, if you wanted to find African-American women um, who live in a specific uh, precinct who have a specific voter turnout history and a particular passion relative to a topic that's relevant to the uh, election campaign, we can put that back together again and then geolocate it. We can add consumer profile data to it uh, relative to um, purchase intent or affinities for certain types of green living products to sculpt a very, very specific voter profile that we can then target down to a few hundred uh, readers of ours in a given geolocation. Okay, now the question is how do you know the results and what about performance and <laughs> attribution models and uh, particularly when you get so granular? So the, one of the things you must do is travel on faith that if you do the right things the results will be good. We do a fair bit of analysis with questionnaires that we serve, looking to understand how people are receiving the message, how the, the target audience is receiving the message, and what they're taking away from it. Um, we look at sentiment and brand lift as part of what we study as we run campaigns. Uh, it's still an imperfect art, but it's getting better by, by the day. Uh, and we'll ultimately find out on November the 8th whether our work this season has been, uh, has been useful. And the big buyers around the campaign are the presidential candidates, the Republican Party, mm -hmm. Democratic Party, the PACs, yep. more local races, a mixture? Uh, a little bit of everything. So what we see is that presidential campaigns and large-scale races come in programmatically. We've uh, been doing a diligent job to connect our pipes with demand sources so that as, as buyers buy, we're present. Um, for smaller campaigns and advocacy campaigns, it's typically one-on-one -on -one where we'll work directly with the campaign uh, to achieve the outcome they're looking for. 